Speaking of somebody who's retired, came back, kind of done his thing, which I appreciated, is Lil Wayne. Wheezy, babe. Yeah, so Wayne, I, I said this about Wayne thousands of times. I was like, Wayne needs to take a break from music. Just get the hell away from music. Stop releasing projects because every song is about pussy and <laughs> weed. That's all it was. Um, and it was, quite frankly, getting mad annoying. I was like, this is getting terrible. Yeah. So Wayne, the last time Lil Wayne released a project, I believe is in 2020. So let me see. Just to make sure. Yeah, Funeral. So 2020 funeral. was the last time Lil Wayne released a solo album. And that was in January 2020. So literally, we've been officially three years since then. Good. Um, that's what I mean. Three years, break, no new music, no album. That's a good break, I think. Three years, four. I would prefer four to five because usually you get more uh, yeah. out of that. But three years is good. Now Lil Wayne uh, has dropped a new track. It's produced by Swiss Beats. It's featuring DMX. It's called Can't Nobody. And yeah. I love the track. Oh, love it was. It. Yeah. And it's not just about pussy. Yeah, right? Wayne killed it. Yeah, so that's, that's what I mean. That's This is what I mean. You start to appreciate Lil Wayne more. Yeah. Uh, he is talking about Carter Six coming out, which is uh, interesting. So if that's the first song off it, it's going to be interesting to hear what, what, what Wayne is going to come up with. But... Uh, Lil Wayne has reacted to being number seven on Billboard's uh, top 50 rappers list. So <laughs> let's see what, what he says. <laughs> he did an interview with Zane Lowe. Unfortunately, I cannot find, like, I don't know if they did a, I'm sure they did a video interview, but I cannot find anything right now. Yeah, that would be good. So I'm sure whenever that comes out, that'll come out. Um, but let's go over what, what, uh, the guy asked him about him, blah, blah, blah. He's like, man, who the hell is before me? Lil Wayne said. Was the list including all hip hop, like before and after as well? I can deal with that. I will tell you that I am a motherfucking one. Everybody whose name, whose names you named, they also know I'm number one. Go ask them; they know what it is. Weezy, <laughs> kind of six strapping. So, uh, I'm a murder gang. The people ahead of Wayne were Biggie, Eminem, Tupac, Nas, Kendrick Lamar, and Jay Z. I mean, it's not that bad, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean... Compared to some other artists? Yeah, we're not even going to get into that. Yeah, here, yeah. You know? Uh, all the, November, though, he did an interview with Marcus Wiley's More To It podcast, and he said Jay-Z is number one. Like when they asked him who's the greatest of all time. Wayne said that? Yeah. He said the greatest rapper of all time is Sean Jay-Z Carter. Uh, <laughs> when you do this rapping thing, obviously, like football, every sport is different. You play hockey, I'm sure they got something that they only know about. Something that they can that they can probably can't explain. Only they know. The, that thing in rap that we only know in rap, he has that. He's the Tom Brady of that. So basically what he's saying, if you're not a rapper, you don't understand why I'd say he's number one. Because we're rappers. We get, you know, you know, like it's like a basketball player ranking basketball players mm -hmm. because they've been in the sport. They have an experience in it. You know, we're looking at it from an outside point of view. These guys are in it, so... Oh, yeah, they, they see it completely different than us. So that's what he's saying about Jay-Z is Jay-Z has something that, you know, um, that we only know in rap that somebody can have, and he has that. Make sure <laughs> <I'm> Illuminati. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please, baby. <laughs> nah. Take a finger my butt. Yeah, so uh, he did say he's a GOAT, though. When this recent interview, he said, uh, everybody whose names you named, they also know I'm number one. Go ask them. They know what it is. See, I hope, this is what I hope. I hope this breeds competition. Yeah. People start... You know, not beefing, but just battling amongst each other, man. I hope Eminem just... You ain't who you think you are, man, trying to be number one. No, Eminem, Eminem almost dissed, almost dissed Lil Wayne and Kanye, remember? When he got back from recovery? Um, On that, what's that song called? Uh, song. Talking to Myself? I almost had a song dissing Jay-Z oh, yeah, and Lil Wayne or some that. shit like yeah, that, yeah. 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 Damn, that should have got leaked. No, he said I almost, so he didn't even probably record it. Um, But... Hey, man, I think when whatever you're in, you need to feel like you're number one. If you don't feel like you're number one, you shouldn't be doing it, I think. Yeah, but it, it's a different feeling like you're number one because everybody's going to say, oh, I'm number one, I'm number one. But are you really number one? I'm just saying, like, I'm yeah. talking about, like, if, if somebody interviewed me, said, hey, are you the number one hip-hop YouTuber? I'd be like, yes, I am. Now, numbers-wise, am I number one? Probably not. You can look at numbers and be like, okay, this person's way ahead, this person. okay. But I feel like I'm number one because I deliver to me the best shit that there's to deliver. What do you think is the proper spot for Jay-Z? 
Because sometimes in my head, I say he is number one. No, he's top sometimes five. Sometimes I, I he's say top five all that. time. He's top five all time. It might even be like top three. You could probably put top three if you yeah. want to. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't I, be I mad if somebody put a top three. Yeah, like number three artist. I would not be mad at it. But number one is just kind of like. I don't know. It's up. It's like up stop to stop being up everybody's. His ass. Yeah, it's it's uh, everybody's opinion. I don't know. Um, nobody's gonna agree with anybody's list. So, yeah, that's uh, I was true. actually talking that's a good to. Point. Just I was yeah. I was talking to the, one of the people who helped write the Billboard list. I was talking to him, and he was explaining to me why they came up with this list this way. And they put Nicki at number ten. I was like, that's ridiculous. I told him. He's like, well, Nicki opened a whole lane for female rappers to come in, and I was like, okay, I guess I can kind of see where she would be. I don't think top 10, you know, so I was going back and forth on that. And I was like 50. If you're looking at it that way, I was like 50 open a whole mixtape lane for all these rappers to come in. So why isn't he in the top and 10? And he's the last gangster rap. Like they're really nah, not even you know, just that. Just I'm, like, yo, if, 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 if you're giving Nikki at number 10 and because she opened this whole lane for female rappers to come in, what about 50 that you open the whole mixtape lane to come in for these rappers? Cause when you yeah. look at all these rappers, if people mention Lil Wayne, people mention, Oh my God! Look at Lil Wayne's run; it's bigger than 50s. If it wasn't for 50, Lil Wayne got that from 50. The whole mixtape shit. He got that from 50s style. He realized, okay, 50 used mixtapes to create his buzz. I gotta do the same thing. Boom! There, there's that. J Cole even said it. Yo, 50 started it. Wayne took it to the next level, and then here we are: J Cole, Kendrick, Drake at our level doing our thing. So, yeah, that's a good point. You know, uh, definitely top three of all time. You know, you have to have Jay Z and Eminem in there because of their longevity. Oh. Top three. I just don't know who gets the number. I don't know. I, w- I would put here's, and people are going to be very, 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 uh, actually, no. I'd put Eminem at number one, Nas at number two, and then Jay Z at number three. Because look at Nas, what he's doing right now. By the way, just last night, we're going to be talking about this a little bit later. He sold out Madison Square Garden for the first time. This is a guy who's been rapping since 1994. Mm hmm. In 2023, selling out Madison Square Garden in New York. That is insane. That is longevity. Yes. And if you actually look at Metacritic, which is all the reviews of, of, of stuff in one place, Nas' Illmatic has the highest rated review of an album of all time in hip-hop. So, I think it goes M, Nas, Jay-Z. You're going... That's not my personal top three. I'm just saying, like, if you were to just look at it all over, I think it goes Eminem, Nas, Jay-Z. And then if you go top five, is where it gets tricky. <laughs> Very tricky. Yeah, that's where it gets tricky. A whole different ball. Now, I would put, I'd probably put Tupac at four. Because Tupac at four, Tupac's done a lot, but then he died in his prime. So that's the only reason I'm not putting him top three. Because if Pac was still alive now, I would love to see if the longevity lasted. Pac would probably be four. Yeah, I, th- I think Pac and Biggie are going to be top 10, 100% on my list. Yeah, yeah, Biggie's going to be later. You just got to put him in there. Because Biggie didn't have a lot of projects out, so Biggie's a little bit later. I think Biggie should be like eight, seven, or yeah. nine around there. But, <laughs> yeah, I think Pac's my, maybe number four. You want to put number five? That's where you kind of, you know, look into who you're going to put into that. Um you yeah. could, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, man. I, Drake's done his thing. A lot, a lot of people don't want to admit it, but Drake is. I think Drake is for sure top ten because of yeah, what he's know. done in hip hop. Shit, you, I think his put, buzz, his albums. I think put, selling is put Wayne at five, Pac at four, Jay Z at three, Nas at two, Eminem at one. That's a pretty good list. That's a top five. Because Wayne's been doing it for a long time, too. Since a kid. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, it's... that's a, I think those top five, those you could you could mix and mash around, but... Um, I put Berman number seven, please! <laughs> put five on so, those skinny times. I mean, that that's just me kind of throwing... I think that would be kind of my list. That's just kind of throwing out there. I feel like Kendrick still has a little bit more to do. J. Cole still has a little bit more to do. Drake is up there, but Drake... I think I think that that's where Drake Drake fifty and uh, Biggie would be from five to ten. Yeah, and they're just yeah. kind of rank them because yeah. of you know they're how yeah. big they are in hip hop. A lot of people, did. a lot of people are like, "Yo, what about lyrically this and that?" No, I get it. Billboard get it. Billboard put 
put up the criteria for it and they put up a lot of different things like sales, flow, lyrical ability, longevity, this, impact. This is why we need to come up with that list. I mean, we just kind of, I just kind of made up. I mean, that, 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 that top five to me makes perfect sense in my opinion. I put Eminem at number one. Create the fucking list. I mean, I'm just, yeah, I think that, I mean, I'll, we'll look into it. But that, that to me, M at one, two Nas, three Jay Z, four, who do we have at four? Pac, Pac. five Wayne, mm -hmm. six, you could put Drake if you want to. Yes. Seven, you could put 50. Yep. Eight, you could put Biggie. Biggie. Nine and 10. Nine. I don't know. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's where I would kind of, I would go now me, my personal list. Don't even get started. My own personal list. Cause it's not, that doesn't really have a lot of those. Well, it does have some of those artists, but, um, my personal list is totally different, but that's kind of roughly what I would have. That's kind of what my list would kind of look like for nine and 10. I don't know. You could put Kendrick, you could put, I don't know. You could put a lot of artists. For Q, nine and 10. There's a lot. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's a whole crazy list. I mean, I technically, man, as much as people probably might not like this, Kanye, I could put Kanye in nine. I think Kanye should be ten. Nah, I think top ten. Ten, 10 should be. Nah, ten is Kanye. Nah, Kanye's don't even. How much shit Kanye Christian. has out is ridiculous, bro. That guy's that guy's actually helped a What's lot. What's wrong of with ten? Nothing wrong with ten between ten. Nah, and I nine? think nine. I, I know, to be honest with you, you could even argue Kanye is a top like six, top five if you really want to. You could argue that. Yeah, so I don't know. There's a there's, it's all about your opinion, what you like, what you grew up on. That's all that really matters at the end of the day, because nobody's gonna agree. Even when we put this list out, if we put this list out, nobody's gonna really agree with it either. They're gonna be like, ah, this is not blah blah blah. blah. So, yeah, um, yeah, that, that that's why I, I want I want <laughs> this list out. So I want to see what the fuck people are gonna say. What's wrong with Jay Z being number three? What's wrong with Nas being number two? I'm curious to know what the comments say. Why? It's just going to be, oh, Jay-Z did this. Oh, look at his business. He's billionaire. Like, it's what the fuck is wrong with top three of all time? Yeah, so. You're still the shit. Yeah. Um, They're just going to be mad because Eminem is number one. That's one. Yeah, the white boy would be number one. If yeah, not right away, people are going to start talking shit. I know. That's just, this is Eminem. Yeah, people forget how big he was, man. People really, really forget. What? This guy's catapulted how big he was. Um, that's actually, for honest with you, that's actually, that's actually my list almost. Like, yeah. I really can't see it you any other way. That list. You got one Eminem, two Nas, three Jay-Z, four Tupac, five Lil Wayne, six, who do we have as six? Six was, uh, Drake. Drake, yeah. Seven fifty. Eight Kanye. Eight Kanye. Yep. Nine Biggie. Nine Biggie. Ten. Ten. Who do you want to throw at ten? <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Nine. Nah. <laughs> Number 10, Berman. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, I don't know. I, I have to go through the list. Number 10, I have to figure I fr out. I fr I'd probably switch a little bit of those. I got to look into a little bit more, but that's essentially the list, man. I don't know. Yeah. I, I look, 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 can we just finish top 10, please? No, there's uh, nothing, nothing. This is not my official. Like, this is just something that I'm kind of thinking off the top of my head. If you want, we can go to Billboard. Oh, what about Snoop Dogg? Snoop, about Snoop Dogg. There we go. That's a good list. Snoop Dogg's, uh, yeah, Snoop Dogg was at one point one of the biggest literal names in hip hop. I don't know. I was thinking more Rick Krause. Ah, oh I'm just sucked. kidding. Ah. Yeah, I think, you know, you could put Snoop up there. You could put Snoop or Dre, man, just because of, I know he's not like a rapper. But yeah, yeah, I don't, you but know, I don't really nah, consider. Yeah. No, nah, if you want to put like nah. overall music. No, no, I'm, this, this list is not just, it's everything. Put in everything. How much you've accomplished in business? Nah, because if you, nah, you, if you put music, everything, how much, how good of a rapper you are, that's what makes you. Yeah, because one. a lot of the problem. Even I was talking with the guy at Billboard. The problem with these types of lists is a lot of it has to do with your opinion. Because how, how okay, is that well, my opinion? because if you put oh, who's the better lyricist? Who has a better flow? Who has a better stage presence? That could be your opinion. No, 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 not like like that, man. It's just, I mean, that's how, that's a, what's your how, how how much of an impact were you in hip hop? That's different. That's a whole different thing. So we don't. We don't. How, how does if it you make, just look at numbers, how does it make you the goat. If you just look at you numbers and impact, let's just say we put numbers and impact. Then okay. Then Eminem is up there. Drake is number two, probably three. Uh, Jay Z is like four or five. Wayne is like four. Like 
You're just looking at numbers. Tupac is way behind. Biggie's way I'm behind. That, that's that's one thing you have to look at numbers. You have to. No, they do. They did mention okay. that on Billboard. They Correct. let me let me go over yeah. there because they so actually mentioned numbers, that on Billboard. How big of an impact you had in hip hop? Of course, yeah. they, they they did that already. On right, there. they have that yep. on there. Numbers, impact, and then longevity. So in determining these rankings, the Billboard and Vibe editorial teams opted first to limit the rap arena to North America only. So for example, an estimable, as estimable as his career is, British rapper Slick Rick isn't on this list. We also opted not to include the significant contributions of reggaeton and dance halls MCs on this list just to keep our pool of nominees a little more focused. So it's only North America rappers. From there, the teams look into account the following criteria in no particular order. Body of work slash achievements, cultural impact slash influence, longevity, lyrics, and flow. So top 10. It's either Ice Cube or Miss Elliott. <laughs> Here, here's the problem where the opinion comes in. Snoop. So you can say, you know, work, body of work slash achievements. Body of work can kind of be opinion because if you like the body of work or not. But achievements can't be opinion. That's facts. Yeah. Um, cultural impact influence is facts. That's you can't facts, really yeah. look. You can't. Longevity is facts. Yeah, I agree. Though. Yeah. But then lyrics, lyrics, storytelling skills, and flow is all opinion. What you like in lyrics. And then flow okay, is so what flow do you like? like? That's like we have three that are facts and one that's opinion. You have so two that are that are opinion, three that are facts. Lyrics and flow. That's two opinions. Lyrics and flow. So. You know, if you like somebody lyrically more than another person, that's your opinion. That has nothing to do with Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, of course. You know, um, I think. I mean, I don't know. To some people be like, oh, this person can out rap this person. Yeah, but do you like those lyrics more? Some people don't like a guy who can just rap his ass off twenty four seven. Like nobody wants to listen to that shit twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. And then flow. Some artists can flow way better and make a hit record and it skyrockets and the rappers that rap their ass off can't do that. So it's like, you know, they're those are opinions, I think, in my opinion. Those two, I would leave out. I would just say, hey, achievements, what the fuck did you accomplish? How many records did you sell? What did you do? Impact slash influence. And then longevity, those three. Yeah. So if you look at impact, achievements, longevity, it's Eminem. <laughs> it, when we're talking about longevity, does that include only music and longevity? Or like, even if, like, for example, Ice Cube. Yes, music. Yeah, I we think remember, but music. then he went to acting and he just became so. I don't know. It says it says you know, years so at the gym. mic. So okay, so music. So I guess yeah, music. So obviously, if you look at longevity, just longevity. Let's just say longevity. You're looking at Eminem, Nas, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, Drake. Now, yep, hundred um, percent. You could even add J Cole and Kendrick. They've been doing their thing, and everybody checks for them when they drop. Yep. They don't just drop as consistently, but every time they drop, people are they're doing numbers, and they've been in the same length as Drake, just not as consistent every year. But here's the thing, though, you got to add Fifty next to that because he gets checked worldwide when he when he drops an album, everybody in Europe and other yeah. So but Middle 50, East, 50 just yeah. hasn't no, 50 yeah. But I mean, not. but I mean, when's the last time Fifty dropped an album? 2014. So it's like, you know, you're missing for about to be 10 years. It's, it's a little bit different. But you know how kind of dope music we're going to get? I know, but it's like we haven't gotten it, so you can't really, you know. All right, man. Keep going. I think longevity is top. Like, when you drop, your 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 album goes number one. You're doing your thing. Animal Ambition, when it dropped, did not go number one. It was, like, number four on the Billboard. Um, so I think you have to, like, nail it number one, too, and everybody has to fuck with you at that moment. Everybody has to be talking about you. Let's be honest. When Animal Ambition dropped, not everybody was talking about him. Being like, oh, hell 50. no. So it's like, yeah. So that's what I mean. I think 50, 50 loses on the longevity part. But it everything does. else makes up for it, I think, in a huge way. Um, but yeah, we'll look we'll look into this and figure out our list and do our thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, Lil Wayne feels like he's the best, and as he should. 